Hey y'all, welcome back. This video, we are gonna kind of focus on some areas that I've been neglecting for the last couple weeks. This front entrance area is definitely one of them. It's not so much neglect as this is where everything that's going out the door to donations, that type of stuff, sits. So it's a, it's a visual reminder, air can get this stuff going. Because if I put it somewhere I can't see, like the back of my car, it's usually gonna get forgotten. It is a habit that I have started of keeping a bag or a box or a pile or something by the front door so my kids know that when they're done with their stuff and they're ready to move on, you know, they can put it there and we take it to donations. So the thing I like to do with my clothes, um, specifically the women's and the men's clothes, not so much the kids' clothes, uh, I take them to work because a lot of people that are coming into treatment are coming straight from prison and or they're coming off the streets and they don't have clothes. So it's nice to have options for them there. So if that's something that you are wanting to do um, and you don't want to donate your clothes to Goodwill or Salvation Army, because I know a lot of people have problems with that, and understandably so, I do still donate to Goodwill and Salvation Army, most of the time just out of convenience, but because obviously I go to work, um, I can just take it with me. But that's something to keep in mind that if you do have places like that around you, substance abuse treatment places, um, they may take donations. I would call and find out. I know we do, so. But on to what I'm actually doing. I am in Joe's room, and these are his clean clothes that I know you guys have heard me talk about. Um, this is an area uh, I struggle with, are Joe's clothes. I fold them, put them in a basket, and honestly, not that I would have lied, but so I don't know why I said honestly, but they usually just stay in the basket and we just sift through them. So I made it a point to come in here and fold them, and well, they were already folded, but put them away because this was getting a bit ridiculous. Joe's room is starting to get messy again. Um, we did really well there for probably about a month of having him clean it, and it's still not as bad as it has been. It's, he's definitely doing much better, but it's at that point where I'm finally glad I caught it though, um, and I'm seeing it before, it's like I can't walk in here and there's stuff everywhere um, that I need to, uh, I need to, take care of us. I need to tackle this. I need to go back in and do a mommy clean. So, you know, he's six. He does well for a six-year-old. Of course, there's area for improvement, but it is what it is, and, and we're going to nip it in the butt. So this is not an area that goes untouched, even though it looks like it. My daughter had cleaned out the cabinets underneath. They're like hardware, uh, stuff like that, nails, screwdrivers, drills, that type of stuff that goes under there. But it had gotten out of control, so she cleaned it, and then she had a few things left over that she didn't know where they went, so she put them up here on top, and I found a home for them. I, of course, threw some trash on there, because, you know, trash goes on your counter, not in the trash can. That would make way too much sense. And that's all I was doing, was just, you know, picking all these things up. I'd love to have a different charging area, but this just works for us for right now, and there's really nowhere else that I would feel comfortable with it. Um, for any of you that are new, our kids are not allowed unrestricted or unsupervised internet time. Um, they have cell phones, but they are the Gab cell phones that only have talk and text. There's no apps. There aren't any apps, um, you know, and I, it's been wonderful for us so far. Um, of course, there's a much more complicated reason behind that, but this just, this isn't the place for it. But anyway, that's what we've decided. 16 is the age that we believe the kids can have social media and all that stuff, um, but it's under the condition that if they want a cell phone like that, they can pay for it. So we do pay for their jab phones. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, but you know, it'd be a dollar more in world if the same thing worked for everyone, right? Okay, so I'm cleaning off my countertop. I normally do the island first, but I just kind of work backwards this way. I have ADHD and a lot of times I have to set very specific goals for myself. And the first goal I set was we're going to clear off this countertop, um, the one y'all just saw me clean. And then when I'm done with that, we're going to work to this countertop. Uh, the reason I have to do that is I will try to multitask and do like five different things all at once. And it, I end up getting completely confused and sidetracked and nothing gets done. Um, there's like five things that are started but not finished. So this is, this is how I keep myself on task. That is pine salt in my spray bottle. And I just sprayed it down and wiped it off. I don't know what we have going on on this table, but it is definitely a mess. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tidy it up. I had some Amazon stuff. 
some paint, looks like a table runner, and some of Joe's artwork. And then I guess I have, oh my goodness, I'm laughing y'all because I'm seeing the whole ADHD thing where you've got three drinks. I had a coffee cup, a tea, and a water. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I do love McDonald's sweet tea. I was laughing because it's so funny. I grew up in Atlanta. Never drink sweet tea. Didn't like it. Didn't want anything to do with it. Never cared for it. I move up here to West Virginia and I freaking love sweet tea. Can't get enough of it. McDonald's though, really. I've had it I've had it in some places that I like, but um, McDonald's is definitely my favorite. I would almost go as far to say that I wonder if they put something in it that's incredibly addictive, but it's got a ton of sugar in it. And sugar is crazy addictive. It's one of those things I think we take for granted. Food's another thing, too, that we take for granted, you know? Uh, people joke about it, but they're, I mean, it's really serious. I mean, because, you know, with drugs, of course, you quit drugs, right? That's obvious. You just got to quit drugs and you don't do food. How do you quit food, y'all? You just, I mean, you have to eat. So I think it's one of those, um, I want to say underrated, but it is un underestimated. Food is an underestimated addiction. So I guess I took you all on a little journey over here to unload my dishes. I hope you enjoyed that. It wasn't wild, crazy, and unexpected. Sometimes wild, crazy, and unexpected is good, though. But not one coming to motion sickness. I do try to be careful with some of my shots because I don't want to make y'all, like, I get real queasy if the camera's moving around too much and something I'm watching. Like, I cannot watch some of these videos where they put the little helmets on their head and, oh, it makes me, like, I guess I'll get a headache or whatnot, but some people like that. That's okay. Again, if you're not new, well, if you're not new, then you know. Um, if you are new, though, my kids most of the time do the dishes. This is one of those days where I just happen to get to them, so that's what we're doing here. I always like to pre-rinse and then put them in. My dishwasher's great. It's just a habit. When I was growing up, our dishwasher sucked. I have a lot of cups, though, my coffee cup collection. Um, from Salvation Army, Goodwill, those places. Yeah, and they most of them have to be hand washed. Y'all would be so proud of me. So I am going to say that I have a slight issue with hoarding and impulse buying. Um, I did anyway. And I didn't really realize it until I started this YouTube channel. Um, I kind of always joked and I kind of always thought in the back of my mind I might have a few hoarding tendencies, but now it's it's really become apparent over the last two years. Uh, Goodwill and Salvation Army are two of the places that I really struggle with. I'm not sure what it is, but I guess it's maybe the idea of reusing something, of getting a good deal. I don't know, but I get a rush when I go into those places. My kids love to thrift shop. They love to get their clothes from a thrift store. Um, I, I really am very blessed by that. I tried to take my daughter to TJ Maxx to get her some like, you know, nice name brand clothes because she never wants anything expensive. Like, she couldn't find anything she wanted. And finally, she just looked at me and I really thought she was gonna be upset. And she's like, Mom, I just, I would rather go to Goodwill. She's like, I can get like four shirts for what this one shirt costs and I would probably like them more. Um, she's like, and I know that they're one of a kind. I'm like, I can't argue with that logic. And I was like, all right, girl, let's go. So anyway, my kids were super excited. We went down there and normally I've made it a habit not to go anymore because I found myself buying all these things and then turning around and donating them right back because I didn't want them. Well, this time when I went, y'all, I didn't do that. I did not do that. I bought a couple skirts and a couple cute shirts. That was it. I didn't buy any knickknacks like I did before. I bought one coffee cup, um, but I had been buying like all these things that I was going to make projects with. Didn't do it this time. Didn't even want to look. I honestly forgot to look. Um, my kids got a couple things. Haley, my daughter, she got a ton of clothes. Um, and that's what makes her happy. Like, she goes to Goodwill on her own. Um, that's where she loves to shop. It's her favorite place. And uh, so I'm just going to be blessed with that instead of feeling bad. Because I do feel guilty sometimes. Because I'm like, man, I, I want to get my kids something brand new. And I tell you what, I get even lucky with that. Or I'm not going to say lucky, it's blessed. Haley, when we, Haley and I go to buy new clothes, we both like to shop at Walmart. Um, I love the way their jeans fit. I love the way their leggings fit. I like that they have a lot of the t-shirts and tank tops and stuff in different colors for, you know, great prices. Um, so that's where she and I like to shop too. Um, I have tried to take her to some expensive store. Well, not expensive stores, but some more bougier places. I don't know. And she, she just can't find anything she's interested in. Now she will find stuff on Amazon. 
That is one place though uh, she does start to, and it's usually the kooky little fun things. But anyway, speaking of clothes, this is what happened. I threw my clothes on the floor and I didn't pick them up. And instead of picking up what was on the floor, I threw more things on top of it. And instead of getting my clothes out from behind the shelves when they fell back, I just let them sit there. So what we decided was to just take these drawers out. Dr no, shelves out. I'm perfectly okay with that because when my husband built them for me, the intention was if it doesn't work out for, you know, shelving for me, we can use them in the house somewhere else. So I put one not beside my bed where I can reach, but up against the wall. So I actually have to move to place things on it. The idea is that I won't clutter it up. Uh, so we'll just see how it works. But uh, I took everything out of here. And y'all, I don't know if you remember, but I have that dresser in that awkward space in my bathroom that used to be a shower and it's empty. So I took the clothes that were in here. I took my uh, leggings that I don't wear all the time, my pajama pants, my sweatpants, and undershirts, not t-shirts, um, and my shorts, and I put them all in there and it fit perfectly. I actually got rid of about 10 pairs of leggings because once I put everything up, I realized I had a whole laundry basket full of black leggings. I was like, I don't need this money. I took the whole thing and put it in a donation bag and left it alone. I'm okay with that because I had bought brand new leggings um, and they were already put up. So that's what it is. This basket that, like I said, so I just, I took everything out of there and started sorting through it. I did donate some things, um, some pants and some leggings and that's good. I've been good about donating things and regulating what's in my closet because I have bought some new work stuff, but when stuff comes in, I make sure that stuff goes out. I have a lot of pieces, as Marie Kondo would say, that don't bring me joy, so I get rid of those. Now, I do still struggle with like bags and that type of stuff. I don't really know what to do with it. Okay, y'all, that is a whip. Um, it's not what you think it is. It was bought as a gag gift, so yeah. Now, here we are in my back room. It's starting to get cluttered again. If you've been here a while, though, you know this is not bad compared to what it has been. So all this is, is just time. It's not been touched back here in about two months. As you can tell by the dog fur, it doesn't look that bad on the camera, but when I sweep up the pile, you guys will see how bad it is. So Joe wanted to move his desk into my office area now so he can work beside mommy. Um, I am doing some work from home. Um, it looks like, I guess I am sort of full-time now. Um, I don't know how long that's gonna stay, but they needed the extra help and I was happy to do it. So set all that up in there and Joe's gonna do his homeschool with me when I'm working from home in there. So one of the things that I have learned since I've been working at my job, um, I work at an addiction resource center, if you all didn't know, is like in one of the 12 steps, it's kind of like accountability. Like if you're upset with someone, it's because of something that you have done if that makes any sense like let me explain it this way there's a youtuber that i watch i'm sure a lot of y'all are familiar with her so i'm not gonna say her name i absolutely love her and there's nothing wrong with it the problem in this scenario is me but when i let me explain it like she had this area that she had worked so hard to clean up and declutter and get it you know great and then she decluttered it again or she cluttered it up again and like i was angry about it and i'm like why am i so freaking angry about this and then i remember my co-worker saying why are you you know it's not that person didn't make you mad you're mad at you and it's like how does that even work and then I'm like oh my gosh I'm not mad at her I'm mad at myself because that closet um, probably about a year ago completely cleaned it out organized it from top to bottom I'm not even gonna show y'all what it looks like because I cluttered it back up so I'm not frustrated at her I'm frustrated at myself and you know usually when we're mad at something or upset with something it's because it's a reflection of ourselves so I don't I don't know if that's in the steps or not the 12 steps or not but it had something to do with that I can't quite remember but man I'll tell you what now when I get upset about something that's the first thing I think of is why am I really mad at this what's what's the reason behind it and I tell you what almost every single time I'm like man it is something to do with me it is a reflection of something I'm not a, happy with I'm not at peace with in my mind um, because that YouTuber, you know, I love watching her. Absolutely great. So it was ridiculous for me to get that upset over it. And that's exactly, oh, here's a photo from my wedding. I'm going to take that to work. I've got like three copies of it around the house. 
So if you're wondering why the footstool stays on that chair, it is because that is my favorite chair. Uh, I love it back here and I love the footstool, but Trixie will get up on top of it, my dog, and I don't want her sitting on it right now. So we don't use it for this time being. I'm not getting rid of it because I don't feel like I should have to get rid of everything. I should just learn to take better care of stuff. And I am in the process of doing that. That's like with this room, I'm trying to give myself grace. Yes, I worked really hard on it. And yes, I did let it get cluttered up again because I, I don't put stuff back where it belongs. I just throw it and move on. And I am trying to work on that. But what I'm gonna focus on is that it's much better this time and I got to it. Okay, y'all speaking of ADHD, so that's what happened here. I didn't keep the whole clip in. I'm, you know, sweeping that pile and I'm trying to clean this room and the bookshelf was open. The door was open. I was like, oh, I've got books I need to take to work. And I started going through the books. I mean, it was productive, but that's not what I had any intention of doing. When I was editing this film, I had done it for 25 minutes. I had gone through books. Now, it's okay because I'm taking these books out of my house and they're going to work. Um, when some of our clients come over, you know, they like, they like to read and they don't have a lot of options. And most of them, you know, well, my clients anyway, are in long-term treatment and where they go is very restricted. So they have a lot of doubt. Well, they don't have a lot of downtime, but they appreciate the book. So we have started, I haven't, my coworker started it and uh, I'm just contributing some of my books. So I've been taking quite a bit of them to work because honestly, I don't need them. I'm not going to read 75% of them again, and I'm probably not going to reference most of them. I always feel like I'm going to do some big research on the Appalachia culture, and I'm going to need all my coal mining books. Now, I haven't gotten rid of any of my coal mining books, but I think the day's coming where I might take them to work. So anyway, as y'all know, I like to sweep and vacuum. And I didn't use my regular mop. I just used my little spray and go mop, which I think it's finally seen its last days. I've had that thing for seven years now. It has been worth every penny and I will definitely replace it with it. But yeah, it's like spitting out pine saw when I don't need it to. Okay, so here we are in the office slash guest room. I'm just tidying up some stuff. A lot of things got put in here when I was cleaning the bigger room and just because this is how I put things back here. I've got to work on it. I'm really trying to be better about it instead of what, put it away instead of so. I can't remember what one of those YouTubers said. Don't set it down, put it away, something like that. Uh, so Joe, like I said, he wanted this desk in here. He does do homeschool. So on the days that I'm working from home, he'll be in here with me. Joe does school um, year round on Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays when I'm not here. Now he does have baseball. So that's really cut into our time. So most of those times he just does like busy work, like handwriting, that type of stuff, things that he doesn't really need me for. And then Tuesday, Thursdays and Saturdays, we really focus on like the meat, the important, like reading together, learning our words, any type of lessons, that stuff. My older kids, they have independent curriculums, so they just see me for grading questions and make sure they're not cheating. But that's what this room serves as too. Um, I am working from home two days a week and I do need an area where I have a lot of um, HIPAA type stuff that I need to have away from my kids and um, you know phone calls, that type of stuff. But anyway, so that's what this is about. I'm trying to get a system in. I've never had a desk job. I don't know how to find a system, so I'm just kind of learning this all as I go. And um, it's been it's been okay so far. I'm just not very into organizational systems. I like the, I just, my version of organizing is there's just nothing there. So I guess I would say in my mind, I feel like minimalism is better than no organizational system because I don't keep things in place very well, like the little organizer bins and shelves. So I'm just like, nah, I like to throw stuff in a drawer and shut it. So I'd rather have fewer things so I don't have to organize. Now my sister, she loves it, loves the labels, does all the boxes, does the whole stacking system. Nope, 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 nope. Not me, but I'm gonna have to learn to because there's stuff I'm just gonna have to keep. I can't throw everything away, right? Even though I want to.
All right, y'all, here's my weekly Kroger haul. What well, I've been doing a little bit different. Um, I had no idea what we needed. I knew we didn't need a lot, so I just, but they were doing the fuel point Friday thing. So I spent $120.43. I saved $56.45. I got 540 fuel points today, so that's why I went. Um, okay. Fossil Boy at Berry Crunch, I think this was $5.99. Um, did I say I got $56.45 in coupons? I don't know if I did, but I'm going to tell you again I did. Um, they had these on sale. I think we're going to do hamburgers for dinner on Sunday because we have a ton of meat. My kids don't like ham. I couldn't find a turkey that was reasonably priced, so... Jeremy makes really good burgers, too. Um, I got this for cracked chicken. Those were $1.39. I got this was $0.99. Cents. Um, I got this for me and Jeremy and this for the kiddos. These were on sale $1.99 if you bought two. And then I had a $0.60 cent coupon. I got this for work. These were $3 a piece. The blackberries were on sale for $1.99 a piece. The Honeycrisp apples, which those specifically are everyone's favorite, were on sale for $2.99 a pound. That's a little expensive for apples, but not for the Honeycrisp. I got these because Joe and Michael love those. They were $1.99, I think. Cream cheese. These are expensive, but they're really good and they're gluten-free. Um, I'm going to kind of show you guys this through here and not really say any of it because I got little ears that can hear me right now. These were $0.99 cents a piece. These are, I don't know. It's Kroger's expensive on their stuff like this, but it saved me a trip to Walmart. Milk, $2.99, even though I still have to go to Sam's tomorrow and do a pickup, but all I have to do is pull my car up, so I really can't complain. These are Jeremy's. He likes these. They're four for five. These were on sale at the register. I picked these up because I had a coupon for $13 off $130, and when I got up there, I kid you not, my bill was $128. That was like after all my coupons and stuff. Um, so I was like, oh crap. So I threw five of these in there because they were on sale. So I thought they'd do well for the kids. These, I have learned that if they sound disgusting, your kids will think they're the greatest thing ever. So I got some of those. All right, so that is what, oh, and I forgot to go over here, I guess. These were all on sale too, 79 cents a piece. We use a lot of corn, chili um, as a side. I use it in some of my casseroles. Same with the diced tomatoes. Use that in chili, use that in um, sausage casserole. But I got several of those. Um, eggs, They I guess they were a good price. They were $2.99. Our favorite peanut butter, they had it, so I got two of those, but the price went up. That's all right. This was on sale. I paid like $4.99 for it at Walmart the other day, and it was on sale for $3.99. Those Rubens that we made the other night turned out amazing. So they had more corned beef on sale. This was leaking, so that's why it's in here. It was in here. It ended up being $11. Um, so I got that because we still have some of the sauerkraut and stuff left over. So be a good thing for this weekend. But okay, so that's Kroger, $120 after my coupons. So um, I don't know what it was before then. It was whatever $53 to that would have been. So, you know, $173. All right, that's it. Okay, this is my Sam's Club haul. Um, it's real small, but we needed dog food, toilet paper, and popcorn. So I got these cheese strings for Joe or string cheese. Hot pockets for the kids. Um, this minced garlic. Y'all, it's like for a smaller container. It's like eight bucks at Walmart, and it's five there. Uh, we got a Lon two London broils. Jeremy does fabulous with these. So I think we're going to cook those for Easter dinner. The toilet paper. I know it's a cheap toilet paper, but I got kids y'all and it gets dumped in the toilet. I don't know. I don't know how it happens. Easter. Um, pepperoni rolls, popcorn, and dog food. So that was it. I think this was about $200, um, which seems ridiculous. The dog food I think is like 60 this is like 27, but y'all, it lasts forever. This was 20. This was like 11. I think this was nine. This was 18. I wanna say 14, 13 or $14. Um, and that was 10. Okay, so that's Sam's.
Did y'all really think I was going to end this video without some laundry? No, I am not because I'm doing laundry all the time. So this week I did it again. I washed a load of laundry. I dried a load of laundry and I put a load of laundry up. I actually did two loads of laundry. Maybe even done three. I don't know. But I was on the ball, y'all. I couldn't even have time to keep count. But anyway, so this is, if, if this is the momentum and I'm going to keep it up, then yay for me. And if I don't, that's okay. Because you know what? It'd be a dull and boring world if everything happened perfect and exact the way we wanted it to every time. Like my speech and these words coming out of my mouth. They are not coming out the way I want them to. Joe's been throwing clothes on the floor in here. They're dirty, so that's okay. Um, I had to wash this really cute sweater I got from Salvation Army or Goodwill. I got them confused. Um, and I'll wash the rest of mine too. I think what happened was like I found all these clothes that were cute and they were in my size and they were my style. It didn't dawn on me y'all until halfway through. I was like, you know what? They all probably came from the same person. They just donated a whole bunch. So it was nice to know somebody out there that likes the same things I do. But I was really tickled about that. But that was something that really kind of maybe it was the fire I needed started under my butt to get my closet going was I got all these new clothes, so I needed to get rid of some, and I also needed to get my closet organized, because I got some nice stuff, and I do like dressing up now, and it'd be much more convenient at 5 o'clock in the morning when I'm trying to find what I want to wear to be able to see it all, so yeah. But I don't have that many clothes to fold in this, so it's going to end fairly soon, and I'm very thankful for that. I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter. Uh, we had a really nice one. It was very quiet. My sister and my nephews and my brother-in-law came up. It was awesome. I hadn't seen my older nephew at, at Easter and oh shoot, quite a long time. So it was really nice. Um, I cured his foot with my magical auntie powers. He would stepped on something and we thought it was a splinter, but it wasn't. And uh, I was the only one he'd let clean it up and put a band-aid on it. And he was limping around, but when I was done, his auntie had cured his foot. So that made me feel good. Little kids that age. It doesn't take much to make them happy. So anyway, I guess I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and say my goodbyes. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. It absolutely means the world to me. Y'all have made this girl very, very blessed. Um, so I hope wherever y'all are at, you are having a blessed one. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.